taking a look at different ways to look at our mail, find our mail and organize our inbox. What about just generally processing our mail as we go along? And that generally comes down to rules and quick steps. Now, if you've been using Outlook for, for a period of time. You've probably heard of Outlook rules. And what Outlook rules are, a set of steps that you can dictate for when mail comes in. So when a certain thing happens, automatically do this. It's when you can make that statement that says, when this happens, I want this to happen. If this, then that. I can create a rule. If I hit rules and hit new, I can create a rule very quickly. So I can say, hey, if it's from Flavio on my team, I immediately want that dumped into a specific folder or I want it handled a specific way. Um, or I can go into advanced options. Then I can really build out a sentence that says, when a message arrives that matches these criteria, and I can get super granular. So when it's Flavio sends it to me, marked as high importance with a, a highly a confidential sensitivity label on it, I have to pick my importance. So it's high and my sensitivity is confidential. Then what do I want to do with it? So when it matches these criteria, when mail app it arrives that matches the criteria that I've selected, what do I want to have happen? One of the most common ones I use it is move this email into a folder so that it's quickly and easily organized. My inbox is my uncategorized or my unmatched mail. Everything else goes into its own folder and I have a ton of folders. You can also have it assign a specific category. So if we've decided that you're going to use some categories, you want to work through that and say, hey, if it mentions Alberta, uh, then it should go in this particular folder. Or if it mentions a specific project name in the subject line of a specific word is in there, then I want it put into a category. If it's a, from a particular member of my team and I'm trying to track how much time I'm allocating to that particular person, I can automatically assign it to the Flavio category in Outlook so that it's already organized for me. Again, rules allow for automation. They allow me to say, okay, this is what I want done. So I'm going to say this one is information reference. And I can have any exceptions. So if he sends me this, but it happens to have. If it's only sent to me, then don't worry about doing that. Whatever it happens to be, I can then make a specific name for the rule because maybe I have multiple that run when Flavio emails me. So I can set up a very specific descriptive name for the rule. I can turn the rule on or I can turn it off. Sometimes you don't want to have a rule running and you want to just do it on a when a, a batch on a Friday, so it's not constantly running. I can run the rule now so that this is a new rule. Obviously, I got seven years worth of emails that have never been processed through this. I can click run this rule now and it'll automatically um, run through every email and get that done. And then I can hit finish. I'm not going to turn on the rule. I'm actually just going to cancel that. OK, so that'll automatically uh, based on what I've defined, that'll automatically handle my email. It comes in, if it matches the criteria, it's going to do the thing unless it, it matches an exception. It gets a little bit more complicated, but yes, it could. Now, I would always ask the question of why you're wanting to put it in two or three folders, because now you're duplicating an email and you've got it into three different folders, when I really only want to keep it in one spot. Um, I would recommend that if you're looking at, hey, I might need to put this in multiple folders, you may want to take a look at categories and search folders instead. Keep in mind, you don't necessarily need to use categories. If we go into folder and we say new search folder, um, I can even get custom with that and I can choose specific criteria. And I can choose from a number of different things. I can search for specific words that are in there for people that it's been sent from, where it's gone to. There's a whole bunch more choices, or I can even get really specific um, and pick from a whole bunch of different fields here to build out a really robust search folder. So if something's going to match three different criteria, rather than moving it around or shuffling it around or even categorizing it, I can just have folders that are automatically going to show that it all sits in the inbox, but it's already that search is already done for me and I can just cl one click and I have access to all of it. But yes, technically you can do kind of a multi-stage and say, okay, do this, do this, do this, do this.